there's still so much I want to do as well, whether it's other venues or different styles of service or more back of house roles as well. The opportunities are endless. It's not necessarily just waiting tables for 50 years. There's the, the industry is so much broader than what we see day to day. Hospitality for me, like, like a lot of people started off as just as a job. I was at school, um, I needed something, a way to earn money, and so I went to a local cafe and started working there. I did what I guess most people then do, is go off to uni, and I was starting my law degree and was going to be a corporate lawyer. I started off doing my clerkships, realised that while I loved studying and I loved like that side of the law, I didn't really enjoy the practice and the office and that lifestyle. I realised that I didn't really belong in the law. I found that where I had that, that drive and motivation was more in the hospitality area. And at the same time, the venue that I was working at uh, was looking for a restaurant manager. And so two things kind of collided effectively. I had worked at Chianti for over seven years when I decided to enter the Appetite for Excellence Young Waiter program. Went up to Sydney and uh, came runner up in my first year with the program. And then Nick Hildebrandt from Bentley offered me a job uh, in Sydney. So yeah, within about two months I'd given my notice and I'd packed up my car and drove across the Hay Plains. Um, and now I call Sydney home. Since being here I was, um, I've worked at Bentley, I managed Yellow with the boys there for, for a year. Um, and now I've been uh, with Solitaire Group for about a year and a half. I love service. I love that standing at the door at 5 to 12, not knowing what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> the good, the bad, and the everything in between. It's such a unique industry in terms of the feeling you get from being involved in someone's special occasion or special day. And getting to play even just a small part in that is just an incredible feeling. To be in this industry, you have to love it. Um, and so we all feed off each other's energy. You might have had a bad day or a bad service, but everyone else has done it with you. And it's that sense of team and that sense of camaraderie that you get, you have to look past whatever's just happened and really look forward to the next challenge and that next opportunity. Like I think belonging within a team is incredibly important and it's how you can get through what we do every day. And so whether or not, whether the cafe environment and the hours and that style of service suits you or whether you are more fine dining oriented, it's really about sort of, I guess, trial and error a lot of times um, and sort of finding, finding that scope to work in different venues and to meet different people and to network. If this is the industry that you love or you like, you feel that you belong in, then be really proud of what you do. It's such a great industry that you just have so much fun and there's such a level of diversity amongst what we can offer. I'm just inspired by people day to day that just do really great things and really interesting things in our industry. All those rule breakers and people that set the challenge and set the bar so high for all of us. I think that that's what this industry is about, is just striving to be better. You just have to say yes. Like, whether you whether you feel like you're ready for it or not, that you can, you'll never know unless you try it. If I had sort of said no to the opportunity to, to move across, I don't know where I would have been, but I probably would, certainly wouldn't have had the opportunities that I've had since moving to Sydney and to work with a group like Solitel as well. So yeah, I think that would be my biggest push is just take every opportunity that comes at you because you'll be surprised what you are capable of, really.